first time learning <laughs> on um, the bag using app because he was talking whatever I thought it was cool connection um texting and then he said you want me to call him whatever I'm like Okay, I'm not good at calling people or talking on my conversations. I'm better at texting. So I'm like, I want to talk to you. I want to get to know you. So that was cool. I talk. I wasn't like, talking that much. I don't know. I didn't know what to say. <sighs> and then I just invited him to my YouTube channel. So he really didn't know me. And then after that, blocked. <laughs> I didn't even go to church today because my um, cramps is killing me. But he was telling me how he doesn't care for a guy and stuff like that because of the bad things that happened in his life. And about how the bad churches, some of the bad churches out there are taking advantage of people, trying to get money from people, um, abusing their authority, and teaching them wrong on the Bible. Or what the Bible says about how we should give give to people. It says we should give to people and help others with our resources. Um as we should not so as to think that we're gonna get a nice car for doing it or a nice house for doing it. We're supposed to be doing it for to help others as God, as look at the example as Jesus did. Not to use the power and say, you have to give this or give that. For God and Lord, for people talking about the Bible teachers. And it's not even all about money, giving money. You can give food, you can give whatever, clothes and stuff like that. So if you're in Christ, you're gonna be. I don't know. I don't even know if I saw you me. Where are you at? But oh well, right? I'm always trusting people that I think that's cool, but they're really not cool. Let's see what they were about to say about
Okay, yeah. Uh, Maybe it's not like uploading. Maybe I shouldn't share my channel. I don't know how like a conversation goes on while you're talking. You're right, blocking without explanation after an initial positive conversation is rude. However, try not to take it personally. The what is wrong? You're right, blocking without explanation after an initial positive conversation is rude. However, try not to take it personally. There may have been factors beyond your control that influenced his reaction. A few thoughts. People aren't always thinking clearly and can overreact, especially online where communication is limited. He may struggle with social anxiety awkwardness due to autism and panicked rather than handle perceived discomfort maturely. Past negative experiences could make him extra sensitive or distrustful without really knowing you. Protect.
Yeah, I don't know how to wear blinders. But I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm also gonna delete this freaking boot map too because I don't have fun over there. The only person I found on the freaking um boot map on Facebook boot map is the um guy that I've been talking to J guy in the industry arts that's what I'm going wild well either because he's not really talkative or he's like so into his career that he's too busy or he doesn't even want to talk to me because um, he's so into the people he's already involved in. He is... We haven't met yet in person. We haven't talked on the phone or video call, so I can't really take it seriously. With that either. So basically, I could say like, oh, I haven't met anybody seriously on the freaking apps, or it's a waste of time. The freaking dating apps. If I was really like really into somebody, you would want to like get to know them, ask them about yourself, um, call them, um, I don't know. He texted me yesterday, like out of nowhere, I was like. I don't know, he was like, <laughs> hit me up, was like, what are you doing? I'm like, nothing, just cooking. And then I was like, oh, that's nice. I don't know what got into him yesterday. <laughs> I 
but even though it's not like that, we were still talking and stuff and had the connection on Snapchat. The longest person I talked to was being on the freaking dating site, even though we haven't even seen each other in person. Or video chat. But I know he's a real person because I did my research. I don't know why people always like um, they blame the world events of God and blame God for it. the world events of what people do when it's not really God, it's them, us. And the whole thing about it is why the world is like it is because of what happened in Genesis. And then they blame God for what the church did and stuff like that. And it's not really God's part how people act in the church. Because the Bible talks about people abusing the church. There's false teachers out there. We have to be aware of them. That's what the Bible says. And we prophesy that. The Bible says there are going to be false people. That's why you have to read your Bible and compare it to what they teach. If they're teaching about giving money do you have to give money it's a demand for you to get something they're not teaching you like in first Corinthians it says you're supposed to give out of your heart not reluctantly not reluctantly not first of you not saying you're gonna God's gonna do this for you if you give to this person God's gonna give you a brand new car if you give a whole bunch of money God's going to give you a nice life if you give a whole bunch of money. That's not what the Bible teaches. Well, that's what the prosperity gospel is. False teaching. The true biblical preachers are going to teach about salvation, repentance, being born again, about sin, and the gospel, preaching it to unbelievers, not pointing out their sins. It's not it's about giving the gospel to them and God changing their heart after they really receive Jesus Christ. Because if they really receive Jesus Christ, that's for him to change their souls and they'll have a new change of heart of how they will think about things once they put their faith in Christ alone. Well, I don't understand, like, why. And he's in the freaking um, I'm not even going to talk about him anymore because he blocked me. And I don't know why he blocked me. I... I don't know. So it's hard for meeting people like that. Like, I don't know. I'm going to continue to do what I have to do while I'm here and just go to my next step of what I need to do. What If this have to leave here, then it's going to have to be leaving here. Because I didn't plan on coming here unless I was coming from my aunt. But that situation didn't work out, so I'm free to leave like whenever I want to. 
to go to another freaking place, uh, back to my home state, or somewhere else, I don't know.